Hi, I'm Mike Human. I'm here for G2M Research. We're doing in the hot seat interviews of people here at the Flash Memory Summit 2019. And I'm here with Tao Zong. Tao is the CEO of NetInt. And with them also is Ray Adensammer. Ray is the Director of Marketing for NetInt also. So thank you, gentlemen, for joining us here. Michael, thanks a lot for inviting us. Absolutely, thank you, no Mike. problem. Yeah. Glad so to be let, here. let's talk a little bit about what NetInt does. Obviously, computational storage is a big subject. There's a lot of companies talking about it here at the show. What is your guys' angle on computational storage? Right. So what we're bringing here into the show oh, nice. is the computational storage, and what we call fusion, uh, edge fusion. And what it is is combining the video processing with the SSD processing. Ah, okay. The same enclosure. Nice. And it, it saves power and also the space. It's especially good for the edge computing application. Ah, okay. Okay, so are you doing, so it's not video, is a video capture related or is it changing different formats or what sort of video, or do you do all those sorts of things? Yeah. So what we're doing here in this inbox is we have yes. hardware transcoding. Okay, so it is transcoding. One format for another format or different resolution. Nice, very nice. And are, yeah. are there any specific markets that you guys see as hot ones for your products or? So, you, yeah. so so our primary market, uh, we position it as encoding uh, at scale for live video streaming. So okay. lots of live video streaming is going on in the network. It's taking a lot of uh, bandwidth. So what we can do is we can prepare those uh, encoding ladders and encodings that are used for ABR streaming very efficiently at the edge location. Right, right. And that's how we can save our customers uh, money on, on their network costs and things like that. Very nice. And then another use case is video surveillance. Tao, maybe you want to touch a bit on, on that one. Right. So you probably know that the video surveillance is pretty much everywhere right oh, now. Oh, yes. And it uses a lot of bandwidth. So Absolutely. there's very little um, uh, the, the traffic that you can bring to the Internet because you use too much bandwidth. Yes, yes. So the perfect place to process these videos is at the edge. Okay. Yeah, so that including the, you know, you can store the videos at the edge. Yes. And you can also monitor and analyze the video at the edge. And so does that analysis include things like facial recognition or numbers of people walking by or? Exactly. Okay, That's what interesting, exactly was doing. very good. Yeah, and also the monitoring of the video surveillance can be located somewhere in the internet. Ah, okay. And that's where okay. the transcoding can be coming. Right. So you don't want to forwarding the whole image over. You want to yes. use the resolution and send it at a lower bit rate yes. through the internet. And, be and then when somebody way. sees something that's of interest, they can pull in the larger image if they desire to. Exactly. Okay, exactly. very nice. When they need to do an investigation type of thing. Excellent, yeah. excellent. So from a technology standpoint, obviously you have a U.2 drive here. Is that the only form factor you guys are doing, or are you doing other form factors besides that? Yeah, we have different form factors. Okay. Yeah, U.2 okay. is the main one. Okay. A lot of people are using it. Absolutely. Very easy to, uh, we also have AICs. Okay, yeah. nice. We're also looking at potentially doing M.2 as well. Okay, very good, very good. That sounds yeah. exciting. And from a customer standpoint, are, is there a particular customer mar market you're focusing on from a vertical standpoint? Is it media and entertainment and public safety? Is it, or is it more broad than that? Yeah, so what we're looking at for the edge computing is look at something called the virtual CDN. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's what yeah. we, we think that's a very huge market to, to explore in. Very nice. And uh, right now, if you want to, um, if you want to install the CDN, you need to deploy a lot of CDN edge nodes, and that's prohibitive for most of CDN companies. And uh, one of the model people looking at, and there's a standard actually building on that, is called MEC, Multi Access Edge Computing. Ah, okay. And what that is is that the telecom companies can providing all these services to different CDN companies. Ah, so you can okay. share all these CDN edges among different content providers and nice. the CDN companies. And okay. that's where you can have a lot of these uh, video caching and also the uh, with video tra transcoding located at the same site. Yes, I was going to say, transcoding probably is very valuable. That way, whether you're serving it up to a phone, a laptop, a tablet, doesn't matter, right? You know, exactly. it's, it, you can you can support all those formats exactly. without eating up a lot of, of uh, com com computational, uh, you know, servers and things like that to do it. Exactly. Right. The transcoding. Yeah. If you look at the the, the the using software to do the transcoding, yes. it uses huge amount yeah, of absolutely. power and the space, right? And the, at the edge, you actually very limited in terms of space and power. Yeah. And yeah. How will transcoding become unnecessary? 
Well, especially like, as you said, in your CDN example, a lot of times they're putting their points of presence in large metro areas where real estate's very expensive. It's often limited the amount you can get. So doing it in something like this versus a 2U server makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And we can actually, uh, you know, have it in the scale point of view, can deploy large scale in a very easy way. Yes. Because every server you can put in 24 of these cards in there. That's or you right. can put 10 of these cards in there. So, you know, obviously an, uh, another of the big trends here at the show today or, the, or this week is NVMe. How does NVMe play into your value proposition to your customers and, and market acceptance? Yeah, so NVMe, you know, it's everywhere. Right? Yes. People, all the servers that use this, uh, you know, the storage right now support NVMe. Yes, exactly. And that's one thing about our transcoding in terms of advantage we have is we're using the NVMe interface. Ah, so okay. For us, all we're processing in the transcoding front is increasing one more namespace. Yes. And that's it. You don't nice. have to compile your drivers. Everything used as it is. That's very good. That's yeah. very good. And and another, you know, kind of another trend we've seen, obviously there's some people announcing PCI Gen 4, right? Next step up in speed. Where are you guys on that on that uh, yeah. spectrum? This is actually PCI Gen 4. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And we Excellent. announced that exactly one year ago. Yeah. Really? Yeah, when we that's have impressive. the railway chips wow. uh, uh, announced, and that's exactly one year ago. When wow. we have PCI yeah, yeah, F FMS in 2018. Yeah. And really? you can see a lot of... I'm sorry I missed that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's great. Excellent. Very good. Well, is there anything else you guys want to talk about, uh, about your products or about your company? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, one thing exciting about this particular uh, FMS is that yes. we, we see a lot of new technologies coming up. But we also see a huge amount of discussions regarding the computational storage. Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, when we have the computational storage, I think in the application of the video, going to be one of the areas yeah. that's the first to take off. And we are very um, excited about this yeah. moment. You know, we believe our product will fit into market trend and it will be very good to be deployed in the near future. Well, I think the focus on the edge and with the video capabilities really makes a lot of sense. That's that's been an issue for a long time in the video world, right? Exactly. You know, uh, delivering multiple video formats depending on the devices. It's only going to get more so. so. Exactly. Yeah. I think you guys are in a good place. Well, thanks again, Tal. It's thank great you. meeting you. Great. Thank you for great. Uh, being thank in the hot seat. Or the hot seats in plural. You're great. <laughs> thank you as much. And I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your show. Thanks again. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Thank you.